A group under the ages of PTAPWA Unity Football Competition has decried the marginalization of youth in the proposed Adamawa State Executive Council at a press conference in Yola. The group accused the governor of ditching the youth after he substantially used them to attain his succession bid as governor of the state, noting that the situation is unacceptable. Its convener, PTAPWA, Volkito cancelled the governor to make a detour in order to correct the influence habit by a large crowd of youths in the state. Fintery retains seven old commissioners as a new list of Adamawa executive council surfaces. But it's quite unfortunate what we are seeing today by the deliberate exclusion of the youth by the government of the day under His Excellency Red Honorable Amadou Umaru Fintery who got into power by the sole mandate of the youth. It is of utmost importance we remind His Excellency, Red Honorable Amadou Umaru Fintri, that the youth of Adama State will forever be the backbone of this state. Their physical and intellectual energies matter to the growth and development of this state. One way the government can leverage their manifold talent in its youth is through meaningful engagement, dialogue, and participation in policy making. Prior to the elections, the governor, just like all other candidates, went into social contract with the youth of the state to offer a significant recognition in his government by way of involving them in decision making via appointment. The failure of the state governor to keep his part amounts to a breach of contract, which may not go down well with his person if he's known for not keeping up to his promises. Here today is not on the premise of any political party, but this is a gathering of Adama youth with a deliberate drive to hold our leaders whom we've given our mandate accountable for their political decisions. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.